I'm not going to say it. I'm not even going to try. It's not worth it. I'm going to I'm going to sound like an idiot. It's just not going to happen. This is Adventures in Ahi Land, Colorado Rockies, man. Growing plants to understand which ones are the hotties, man. An audience of pepper lovers, all my sisters and my brothers. Grow along to get along and learn from each other. Adventures in Ahi Land. You didn't know? This is Adventures in Ahi Land. Never forget, plants help us grow. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Adventures in Ahiland. My name is Boss, and today we are looking at something that I'm afraid to pronounce because I have no idea how to do it. Ahi Chayuya Ruro? Chayuya Ruro? I don't know. Ahi Chayuya Ruro. Amarillo. Let's go with that. This is yet another Bacatum from Peru. Uh, it is a wild originated species I'm told but I couldn't verify that with anything like proof other than reading a few articles so whatever I mean it's not a wild it's cultivated now but it started as a wild variety the plant grew really large and then it started to put on these bone white fruits like just absolutely stark white pale fruits those fruits then started to get kind of purple coloration on them and then they turned to this beautiful bright yellow it looks nice and so I don't know a whole lot more about this one. It's the first time I've ever grown it, first time I've ever heard of it. Um, still no idea how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Ahi Chayuya Ruro, I guess. Let's see how it looks inside. Very pretty. Moist, not a lot going on in there though. Handful of seeds on this half. Pretty empty on that half. I don't expect it to be overly spicy, but we'll find out. Time for the inaugural tasting, Ahi Chayuya Ruro Amarillo. Mmm, very bright flavor. Jalapeno level heat, not too bad so far. Really crunchy, crisp, great flavor, very juicy. I gotta say, that's a tasty pepper. Um, it's about, about twice as hot as jalapeno now that I've chewed it up a bit. Flavor-wise, real bright citrusy. It reminded me a bit of Ahi Chinchi Amarillo, so similar flavor type. A little bit sharper of a burn on this one. I might never heard of this pepper before, but I think I like it. This beautiful yellow color really is going to stand out. I'm going to grow this again next year for sure. It took a long time to ripen. This was a late developer. It's also in one of the shadier parts of my garden, so that might have been part of that as well. The longer I sit here and talk, <clears throat> the more I salivate and my tongue burns. That might be three to four times hotter than a jalapeno. Definitely burning, um, kind of a sharp burn on my tongue, mostly, nothing in my throat, nothing in my roof of my mouth or cheeks, but it's a little spicy. If I would have just had maybe another month in my season, I would have had enough of these beautiful peppers to make a batch of sauce that would have been bright yellow gold and taste great. For now, we'll just have to call that a goal for next year. We will see you next week for one of the last few episodes of Adventures in Ahiland. Remember, plants help us grow.